Hello students. So today we are going to learn chapter 10 app development. So in this chapter we are going to cover different content, introduction to apps, type of apps, classification of mobile apps, uses of common apps, downloading and installing an app from Google Play Store, developing your own app, how to install Appy app on your mobile. So these are the these are all the topics which we are going to cover in this chapter. The first one is introduction to apps. So the word app is an abbreviation for application. So the full form of app is application. An application is a software designed to do a specific job. An app enables you to do something specific like paint, draw, read maps and barcodes, take photographs, play games, watch and edit videos and a host of other activities. But within the technical limitation of your device, however with the rapid rise in the use of smartphone these days, the word app is mostly used to refer to the software that runs on the mobile phones. So here we just get the full form of app which is application and application is like a software okay and we just give a specific or a uh, unique specifically job to our software or the app. All app doesn't work similar jobs and app enable you to do something if you want to do paint, if you want to draw something, you want to read maps, barcodes, all the things can be done easily with the help of applications. But sometimes there is technical limitation also and nowadays there is a rapid rise in smartphones because maximum of apps you can use in smartphones. Now type of apps. So there are three type of apps. Desktop app, web app, mobile apps. So in desktop app, these apps can be used on a desktop or laptop. Generally, they need web access and run independently on a computer. So you need a desktop or a laptop, anyone. And generally, the internet connection is not required to run these type of desktop app and the example of desktop app is notepad. Web apps. So these apps require an internet connection, web apps. Web means something related to internet here. And these apps require internet connection. They are usually browser based and stored on a remote server such as Google Maps. So we can download Google Maps and we can open Google Maps also. But without the help of internet, Google Maps are of no use. Mobile apps. These apps run a smartphone or tablet. Mobile apps have responsive web designed to adapt to the much smaller screen sizes and orientation of mobile devices. So these applications run on smartphone or tablets. So you can use mobile apps on mobile phones or tablets, anyone. And mobile apps have responsive web design. There is a web design according to the small screens of tablets or mobile phones. Now, classification of mobile apps. There are two types, native apps, hybrid apps. Native apps are usually developed for specific operating system. Operating system like Windows, Android, Mac. These are the ones. If we are developing something for a specific Android, uh, Android or Mac like operating system, then we are going for native apps. This is because each device may have different specification like GPS, dual sensor, cameras, memory, Bluetooth, wireless fidelity, or near field communication. Apps that are developed keeping the device specification in mind are known as native apps. So, uh, specification if you like, uh, if you want GPS, dual sense, cameras, memory. So, these all required for a particular operating system you are targeting. So, in those type of things, apps are developed and you are just have those things in mind. Then these are known as native apps. Then hybrid apps. Hybrid apps contain the feature of both web apps and native apps. And these apps can be downloaded from the Play Store or App Store and sold on the device. So, hybrid apps have both the properties of native apps and web apps. 
and these apps can be downloaded from the play store or app store and installed on the device and these apps require the device to be connected to the internet hybrid apps can be stored partly on the local device and partly on the remote server so they are like half on the local device and half on the remote server hybrid means the combination of web and it both next uses of common apps so educational apps so the apps through which you are learning something related to education so these are equally useful for both students and teacher these type of app educational app can be used by both uh, of the uh, both student and teacher and teachers are use it to distribute study material quickly conduct test grade the student effectively by using apps like google classroom kahoot okay so these there are many nowadays like in lockdown educational apps are used very much there are maximum benefits of these app as well then social networking so in a world that is increasing social and open social media play a significant role in communication and these social media apps let you post images video and other update to your profile which can be shared with anyone across the globe easily via such apps so if someone is uh, sitting in another city or another country and you want to share your pics your post anything you can use social media there are there is maximum social media that free of cost you can just install them and you just need a internet connectivity and you can send messages you can see their post so example of social media are such as whatsapp facebook twitter next is use of common apps first is entertainment apps many of these apps are free to use some charge a fee for their premium services so entertainment app something related to entertain suppose i uh, am feeling bored now i want to watch something so these type of apps can come under this category and if you wish to watch a movie catch up on your favorite tv serial or watch some sports you can stroll and use hotstar many different apps are available there hotstar youtube netflix there are many then banking and finance so almost all banks have their own apps today like because of the lockdown apps are now very essential and used by maximum of the customer or the user as well while banks have had an online uh, presence for quite some time now these apps allow quick and easy access to most of their services and product so one can check the balance in his account open fixed deposits pay utility bills transfer money to another account order a checkbook or demand draft and many other activities as well so what are the benefits of these banking sectors you can just check like if your uh, transaction is done money is credited or not bills transfers are done on time or not demand draft checkbooks everything is available and one of the famous banking and finance app is Paytm. Next is downloading and installing an app from Google Play Store. So open Google Play on your phone. Use the Play Store app. So Play Store app is already there in each and every phone. You can open that, or on your computer you can open Play dot Google dot com and find an app you want. Okay, any app, and gaming app, educational app, social media. so to check that app is reliable find out what other people say about it so if we buy the product also we just see the reviews so in the same way if you are downloading a app you can check their reviews under the app's title check the star rating and the number of downloading like if someone other user download them so how's their experience they can rate out of 5 star and they can write the reviews also like uh, downloading is not happening or this app is awesome or something these type of review, reviews they can write them 
and when you pick an app tap install or no charge app or the apps price so there are two types of apps one is chargeable and another one is no chargeable so free of cost one you just download them and install and then use them but uh, some are paid ones also so you have to pay it for those apps and then you can use them now developing your own app so how we can develop our own app to make an android app software such as android software development kit android sdk is required knowledge of java is needed since most application programming interfaces use java you may also need to learn extensible markup language xml html and css for designing an app and several integrated development environment ides are available that greatly simplify the process of an android app development and the android studio from google is one such example so there are many platform which you can use to create apps and while ellipse is another and many ides come with their emulators to preview the working of your app so suppose you create something you just apply a button create a button so you can check there also by running the program but the final testing of the app should be done on different mobile devices so once you created your app final testing is uh, done by using or seeing the final product in different mobiles now the steps to create app on appypy you can open this link and can see the steps i will uh, tell you some step also firstly you have to open appypy.com then you have to uh, sign in and then you have to give firstly the name of your app then you can select the theme background text as per your convenience layout anything you want to write any background image any color you can set there then you can uh, save it and how you can download this in your mobile apps are using these steps like how to install appypy app on your mobile so the simple way to install your app is to send the app to your email id okay first you can send it to email id click on the email icon then enter your email id and click on the send button so you will get a mail on your email id from appypy open the mail on your mobile phone and click on the given link you will get the instruction for downloading and installing the app click on the launch button this will download the app on your device when the download get completely tap the install button to install the app on your device now open the install app so easiest way just a confirmation email uh, email is just sent to your email id you have to verify that then you get uh, uh, the icon of the you get the link of your app when you click on that link a down it start downloading and installing the app then you can uh, click on the button after installing to open it and it will start in your device so i hope everything is clear to you thank you